but how did you feel your first game out there? Uh, it was a good experience. I feel like uh, there was a lot of things that we can learn from the game, you know, just such as this. That was the first game. We got a lot of, you know, that, that nervous feeling out. So it's something we can build off of. So. Did you have a nervous feeling going into your first game at UCLA? Uh, yeah, kickoff. Kickoff, and then once I got that first catch in the first quarter, then I was all the, you know, butterflies was gone after that. But other than that, not really. What are some of the things you want to improve on? Um, me, myself, just whenever the ball comes to me, just make the play, no matter if it's low, I got to die for it, or if it's too high, I just need to catch the ball whenever it's not in my radius. You made a nice adjustment on that deep pass, so can you take us through that play? Uh, I just, well, of course, Coach Kelly first off called the play. So when I got out there, I saw that it was man coverage, and I just took the most of my opportunity. So when I saw the corner walked up on me, I just knew to take it vertical quick and get open real quick. And I was expecting, I was expecting the ball to be, you know, further down the field. But I mean, he got the throw off, which was, I was happy about because he had some pressure on him. And I just made the play on him wherever the ball was. I just tried to catch it. What does the team have to do to bounce back? Um, as far as bouncing back, I don't. I don't really think it's something like bouncing back. I think we just got to get back to our fundamentals and techniques. The stuff that we worked on throughout the whole spring ball and fall camp, the, everything that the coaches has been teaching us, we just need to get back to and trust the process of everything we've been doing out here. I mean, everything we're doing is like, it's, it's clearly, you see, you see little sparks of it throughout the whole game. It's just that we got to pull it all together just to play a full, complete game. So I don't think it's something that we got to like necessarily go and dissect play by play. I just think that all of us as a whole, as a team, we just need to go back and follow our fundamentals. And we, I feel like we'll win the game. How, how's the mindset of the team? I feel like the mindset is good. I mean, the game was last week. We're leaving that in the last week. We're playing a whole different opponent this week at home. So I feel like we going to, it's a new week to get better. It's a new week to win the, win the game. So I feel like the mindset is real good. Everybody is out here working together. There's no finger pointing. No matter what anybody did during the game, it's all as a whole, we lost. It's not on one person. Everybody lost. I got an L. Coach Kelly got an L. All the players got an L. The whole staff got an L. It's not just on one player. So, have you seen Dorian respond from uh, from last week? I know he was pretty disappointed about his performance. He came out here like it's a new day. Like I had messed up on a uh, play, he was picking me up. So it's, you clearly could just see the leadership on how he can just flip the switch and leave whatever happened last week in the past and continue to motivate all of us to get better so we can come out Saturday and beat San Diego State. You said you guys got away from your fundamentals. Do you think that was just first game type stuff where you maybe didn't remember what you needed to do and the nervousness? I, I think it I think it was just like some of the just some of the just some of the things that was thrown at us we we maybe wasn't we hadn't seen. They you know saying we was watching film previously from last year. You know all teams add a little bit of different stuff on every year. So it was just we seen different stuff, and when you get real tired, you know, fundamentals go out the way. It's just like you, you just tired. You're just trying to get through the play. So I feel like with that first game being done, everybody knows, okay, it's going to be like this when we're playing the game. So regardless of we're going to have to be tired, we're going to have to just condition our body more to be able to last throughout the whole game, and we're just going to have to follow these fundamentals and techniques that the coaches is teaching us and trust the process. After a few plays, did you feel a lot more comfortable? Yeah, for sure. I felt a lot more comfortable after the first drive. First drive, I was just like, okay, this is this is the flow of the game. I can I can handle this. So excited to play in the Rose Bowl. Yeah, very excited. Very excited. I, I can't wait to play there. You ever been over there? Oh, uh, I actually did. I went to like a uh, charity event with oh, the, uh, like with some kids. I can't remember exactly what, but I went with uh, Drew Davis. He took me and a couple other players out there just to go do some charity What'd work. What do you think of the stadium? It's a big stadium. <laughs> that's the that's probably one of the biggest stadiums I ever like been in, just as far as like me going on visits and everything. But I can't wait to play there. What's on your necklace? Uh, just a picture of uh, this is on my senior day, my senior night. Just my uh, my brother, my mother, me, my sister, and my father. Just to remember like who I'm who I'm doing this for. That's it. You may, do you wear that during games? Yeah, I wear it during the games. Yeah. So. Doesn't uh, bounce against you. Mm -mm, I got like a, <laughs> I wear a tight undershirt just to tuck it, just okay. to keep it right there so it won't come out. It might occasionally come out if I slide on the ground or something. But uh -huh. other than that, I just tuck it right back in there. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>